Welcome back to action. Our final matchup of the evening in the 2000 U.S. National Wrestling Championships. The defending world heavyweight wrestling champion Stephen Neal in the red. He's going up against Kerry McCoy in the blue. This is another matchup that everybody is stayed glued in their seats for. Really looking forward to this one. Kerry McCoy, the world team member two years ago and was fourth in the world. A controversial fourth, probably earned better than that. He beat the world champion in the semifinals, the guy that ended up winning it, and thought he was going to wrestle in the finals. He'd come back later and find out that they protested the match, rescored it, and gave it to the, uh, the other guy. So McCoy ends up fourth in the world, and the guy that he beat ends up first. And then Neil beat him last year uh, in the tryouts and won the world himself. So these guys have fought several times. Uh, when McCoy was a senior and Neil was a sophomore, they met in the NCAA finals. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt by McCoy. Looks like he's got one. it. They're going to give him one. To him. It's Kerry McCoy drawing first blood with a single leg attack that goes off the mat and scores Both one point. These athletes for heavyweights have tremendous quickness and athletic ability. They wrestle like lightweights. This is uh, this is not your typical heavyweight match. Well, to give you an idea how well Stephen Neal is respected in this weight class in general in the United States. He was voted the world's freestyle wrestler of the year last year of all weight classes. Well, what a run NCAA championship Pan American championship and then the world championship. He had a tremendous year. It's Kerry McCoy on top here 1 0. McCoy a former Penn State or these two met in the NCAAs McCoy won that. Stall call late. Very in the controversial match. stall call. Uh, when the match was tied, they cautioned. They cautioned uh, Neil out. Yeah, and they Neil cautioned came Neil with about two. 20 seconds to go, which I thought was a poor call. I think the match then should have gone into overtime. Neil then went on to win two of his own, and now really, as a youngster, is on top of the world. Well, they split in the two out of three last year for the world team trials, but it's it's Neil. Oh. Behind here, doing his patented double leg to the edge of the mat. And that's what he does so well. TJ Kerr, his coach at Bakersfield, he really wanted one point there. And there's a break in the action. And Stephen Neal has some concern over in his corner. He's got uh, a little mouth problem there, maybe some blood or something that he needs to relax. He got I think rid he needed of that. to spit, yeah. Both, <laughs> he got rid of it. both Neil and McCoy, their senior years in college, were voted the Dan Hodge Trophy for the top uh, college wrestler of the season. And what Neil does so well is change levels to get underneath his opponent, but McCoy has been training hard. He only used to weigh, he used to be a 220 pounder, and now with the change of weights, he has bumped up. What do you think he weighs? I bet you he's gotta be pushing 250, and he's solid. He's at least 240, maybe 250. His uh, legs I, I have bet gotten he's at big. Least 250. Legs have gotten good and strong, and Kerry's a very intelligent athlete, and I'm sure he's studied Needle thoroughly. Defeated Tolly Thompson to make it here into the finals. Tolly also a very successful freestyle heavyweight. This by far is the U.S.'s best in terms of depth uh, of any of the weight divisions. We, we've had, yeah, we, we, this is the deepest heavyweights ever been is this year with uh, in the last two years. We've got four or five more or more real good heavyweights. Well, Stephen Neal, the defending world champion, has been called for passivity. I would say the 138 pound weight class is real deep for the uh, Americans also. That's spoken like about 138 pounds. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Kerry Mc McCoy with the leg attack. And he's got it. He's still got him laced up. Releases the lock. And wow. Two nothing. Hand to hand exposure. Only gives you one point. You need to hit your shoulder, elbow, or head to make it a two point exposure. And Neil traveled hand to hand. Well, McCoy really seems to have uh, focused in on the nuances of the sport here, scoring some real nice technical points. He's doing it exactly the way he wants to avoid Neil's big rush and pick at him from the angles, from the outside. Coach Oishi was in the corner there. You just saw a picture of him. He coached. McCoy all through college, Penn State. Woo! 
And that doesn't happen too often. Stephen Neal going to his corner behind 2-0. Welcome back to the 2000 U.S. National Wrestling Championships from Las Vegas. We're with the big guys, 286 pounds. Stephen Neal in the red going up against Kerry McCoy. You're looking at him in the blue. McCoy holding a surprising 2-0 lead over the defending world champion, Stephen Neal. And the way he got there, he got an early takedown, but there, a beautiful lace, or ankle lace. Neal traveling hand to hand only made that one pointer and he trails now two nothing as they start the second period and neil strength is his double leg and thus far mccoy has been able to avoid it oh, but not man, there is that powerful he really comes up from that crowd she's six five six six neil but he's really, like a compact wrestler coming out of there neil didn't open up the first period it's the most cautious i've seen him wrestle in a long time and now he comes out strong to start out the second period well, McCoy was That's giving him a, a, a look at a lot of lateral action in that first. He wasn't letting the uh, forward and back action that Neil needs occur. These two have wrestled so many times that they're uh, starting to figure each other out. 2-1 your score now. Neil in red, McCoy in blue. They met in college in the finals of the NCAA. McCoy won that one, but last year belonged to Stephen Neal. And really, they got a great story in the corner. Last over year, there. they wrestled. They wrestled four matches. Neil won three times, and McCoy won once. Stephen Neal in the red, McCoy in the blue. Neal voted the world's freestyle wrestler of the year of all weight classes, of all countries. Jeff. And the coaches for Kerry McCoy there, Coach Oishi and Strobel. That's what I was referring to earlier about the story was the fact that Neil is coached by Daryl Pope. He's his personal workout po partner. Pope, a former national champion at Bakersfield Division II, lost in the finals to a teammate of yours from Iowa, I think Rico Cip Ciparelli, might have been after you, uh, but lost in yep. the finals, took second, and Pope felt as though his wrestling career was left unfulfilled and he met Stephen Neal and has been training with him since and he now shares in Neal's success. I remember that was a great match between Pope and Rico Ciparelli in the NCAA Finals. They had a tremendous flurry in the last 15 seconds. Well, Neal trying to get a turn here. Well he's desperate to get another point on the board to tie it up. It will still go into overtime at the end of regulation because neither wrestler has reached the three point mark. There is Daryl Pope. He and was there's Neil blowing through, trying for a shot. Well, the fans couldn't have asked for a better match with the heavyweights here. It's really developing as each t second ticks away. The pressure is building. And Neil looked very determined as he walked back to the center. It looked like as though he was talking to himself and needs to be careful. You might get the take down there. That could be a point for McCoy. It's very close. Oh, the battle went They're going to give bounds. it to him. They're going to give it to him. It's 3-1. Neil needs to score now. It's going to end in regulation. If I were Neil here, I'd try and st stand up and get an escape. Good. Well, he good needs call the time there. to score. He Just needs that time. Just because of the time. Two takedowns are tough to get. Kerry knows he can give one up rather than uh, let him both be bowled over, countering too long when Neil's double legs. He's already scored one ankle lace, and he's got the others locked up here. It could happen again. He doesn't really need it at this point. He's got the necessary three points to win in regulation. And this could be a big upset. Not that big of an upset because McCoy's beat him before, but Neil is the world champion. He's our only defending world champion from last year. And he's losing three to one with 27 seconds left. 27 seconds. You're going to see a double leg here by Stephen Neal. At least several attempts here in the final 20 seconds or so. And there's oh. one of them. That and was really nice. And it gives him enough time, 19 seconds. He's got plenty Neil of time. Chooses top. Neil signals that he wants him to choose top. Stay up. He wants to be he on the feet. He wants to stay up, but that's not his choice. Greg Strobel is signaling that they should put him down. That's not his. The, the head mat judge is signaling that also. That's a mistake. And there's the last attempt by Neil looking for that double, driving to the edge McCoy's of the mat. McCoy's going to do it. McCoy's going to do it. That's a huge upset. Kerry McCoy has developed to the national champion here at 286 pounds. Wow. That, that puts uh, 
That puts Stephen Neal, the defending world champion, in the mini tournament where there's some other good heavyweights. Uh, it's no surprise McCoy had won a semifinal match at the world level, should have been in the finals. McCoy could easily be a world champion himself. That's had right. One, they had, had that match away. protested, taken away. So McCoy and is no slouch. He's got the talent. And it's Kerry McCoy, the heavyweight champion. We'll be back with more action right after this. So a wrap. We'll be right back. 